father is dead and Italian, which I don't know why it matters that he's Italian, but he's Italian. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with yet another book haul because your girl went to the thrift store and can never control herself when she's there so she bought more books so without further ado let us get started. The first book I'm actually really excited about because I've been wanting to pick up a copy of this book for the longest time and I've never seen this copy before but it is so pretty. It's Solace by Gail Carriger and this edition is illustrated and it's just like pink and beautiful. The book follows Alexia who has no soul and this means that she can negate supernatural powers. She ends up being attacked by a vampire and then she ends up killing that vampire by accident which is like a big no-no in society. So Lord Macon is sent by Queen Victoria to investigate what happened and it's like that story and a bunch of vampires, that's all I know. And it's also signed, so I was really excited when I found it. And you know your girl just loves herself some illustrated books. The next book that I found is The Last Time We Said Goodbye, and this is by Cynthia Hand. I've read a lot of Cynthia Hand books, and I usually really enjoy her writing, so I saw this and was like, hmm, why not? It follows a girl named Lex, whose brother Tyler committed suicide, and she's been hiding this big secret. Apparently, he sent a text that could have changed everything, and it's basically the story of her trying to come to terms with this big secret that she's hiding. So, like I said, I bought it because Cynthia Hand. The next book I have is Isabel Gill's Starry Night, and I really like this cover. I think it's like super cute. It follows a 15 year old named Ren who is at this major event for her father, and then she meets a boy, obviously, and it's like this huge life changing moment for her. So it's a cute little contemporary love story, and I just thought it would be a nice break from my stabby stabby murder murder books so I picked it up. The next book that I have, I read the synopsis. I had never heard it before but I thought that it sounded real cool so I was like hmm let's get it. But it is The Walls Around Us by Nova Ransuma. It follows three different girls. The first is Violet. She's an 18 year old dancer and she has a very big secret about why she is so accomplished. And then it also follows Amber who is locked up in the Aurora Hills Juvenile Detention Center. And then it also follows Octavia who is the link between these two girls and is basically their stories. So I think it sounds pretty interesting and I am intrigued to see what this story is all about. The next book I have is Ever the Hunted by Erin Somerville and this is I think a Robin Hood-esque kind of story retelling maybe. It follows a 17 year old named Britta whose father is a bounty hunter but then he ends up getting murdered and the person who murdered him is the boy that she has always loved. So she sets off on this journey in order to bring justice for her father but obviously it's hard because she was in love with this boy and it's like that story but I am excited. I saw a lot of like bigger booktubers hauling this when it first came out but I never saw what they thought of it so I found it and I was like mm, let's get it. And then the final book that I have is Not Your Manic Pixie Dream Girl and this is by Gretchen McNeil and I don't know all that much about it other than it follows a girl and her two best friends are super bullied in school and she creates this formula to reinvent them and they become super popular and she has this boyfriend and then a new girl comes to school and steals her boyfriend away from her so then she's like yo I'm gonna do the same thing with this formula and reinvent myself as Trixie instead of Beatrice. All these problems happen because, you know, be yourself. I'm assuming that's gonna be the message. But I thought it would be a kind of cute story, so I was like, why not? Alright guys, so that was my little haul for today. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!